it's showtime. Good morning, good morning on this 27 degree morning. Bundle up, it's cold. The only one not cold in here this morning is Reggie. That's because Jamie shames him into showing off those muscles and makes him not wear any clothes <laughs> hardly when he comes in. So when that's all bundled up over there, somewhat anyway, he's ready to go. Jamie. Bundled up. I thought you had on two shirts, but it's only one. Yeah. Oh, it is two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it off if I need to because uh, I'm a Reggie Knight. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. And today, join us for the first time in a couple of years, Keith Jackson over here, right now on the right of Reggie. Yeah. Where's your band? Where's my band? Oh, they're, they're back at home getting ready to work today. <laughs> He's got one, and Dr. Tyke Miller, as always, good to see you up here. Morning, sir. I got my glasses over there. I have them on in just a moment. Of course, everybody knows just Keith Jackson now from his funny commercial that runs with Jackson Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. I bet y'all been busy. We've been slammed, Jamie. It's been unbelievable. Anybody's water freeze? Oh, only a couple. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Chris Tykemiller's froze. Did freeze? Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes. I was dying up in the attic and I had the condensation drain freeze up. Ah. Um, yeah. Ours froze up a couple of years ago like yeah. that. So, and my pump froze at my pool. I told you we not to turn it got real cold, so I Googled it. And I told y'all how to do that. Went out and built me a little tent over and plugged up a bunch of space heaters. I barked from all my friends, the few I've got. Melted that dude. Well, the funny part was. Hey, what are you doing? About to jump over the desk or what? I'm just reading this about Chipper Jones. He's, he's oh, always yeah. in his favorite. You know, place. most sports guys would read the information that they're given before they come on air. Well, I'm not going to read the whole bit. I'm just trying to get oh, okay. bits and pieces. Highlights, highlights. Hey, this portion of the program. That's right. Hey, Reggie, I forgot to ask you, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Bad you started today. Brother. You didn't have to babysit. You know what? I have had uh, <laughs> car batteries. Uh, I've had to babysit respectively. And look, I'm just glad to be here. Yeah. I really am. <laughs> and Joseph was talking about you yesterday. You hung out with him this past Saturday. I did. Uh -huh. I did. He did deal with me for a few hours. It was great. We all want to be an actor. You know what? We all want to be something. Hey, this portion of the program brought to you by Hometown Marketers, one in Hartsell, one in Decatur, two right here in Athens, and one in Florence. Gloria will have a special for you in just a moment. And in case you didn't know it, today, I saw this on 48 a while ago, National Peanut Butter Day. Mm. We'll take it. Always oh, like peanut butter. And peanut butter good for you? Very. We'll take mm -hmm. it. Straight it's protein well. butter. Not that fat. Protein. No, it's good stuff. Great stuff, actually. So today, eat some peanut butter. Good fat. It really is. Good fat. For such a thing as good fat, I always thought that was me. Good fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. And Keith, well, Keith, were we playing Judge Jamie when you were over here a couple years ago? No. I don't we're playing what? Judge Jamie. No, that's been like six yeah, years. Five or six years. It's been about four, I think, Jamie. Four to five. Yeah, at okay. least. Since I've been missed out. So I missed out. You missed out. Yeah. Yeah. You missed out. We'll bring you up to date. Indoctrinated. We'll bring you up to date real quick, like. Lucky you. All right, here's Gloria with the weather. It's going to be sun shining today. What I started to say earlier, that funny story about him freezing the pump, I told him not to do it. So before I even woke up, he's like, I got a solution. Uh -huh. He Googled it to make sure he can fix it before I say, I told you so. But let's talk about that weather. 27 degrees. Bundle up, especially if you have to stand out there and waiting on a bus to pick you up for school. Or are you just having to walk into work this morning? Hopefully not. But bundle up, it is cool and cold out there. Not cool, just cold. But high temperatures today of 50. We're going to see full sunshine. You know, it was a little misleading yesterday. Yesterday, it didn't quite get as warm or feel as warm as we wanted it to, but that 50 degrees and full sunshine today should definitely help. Tomorrow, 54 for that high, 31 for that low, and full sunshine again. It looks like no rain to even talk about until possibly Saturday. That's the biggest day for rain. Carried on into Sunday with your temperature still sticking around the 50s. As Lynn Hart makes her way into the studio this morning, she won't miss that game. <laughs> All right, back in action this morning. Last week, I think this time, I took a day off and ran May from 30 or 40 years ago. Wasn't it like 9 degrees? I imagine it was. was. That's about right. 9 degrees. Mm -hmm. So, y'all been out uh, thawing a bunch of things. We have. And you say y'all still behind? We still are. Uh, uh, things just kind of domino effect sometimes. And uh, we, we had so many calls, we couldn't actually get to all of them. And uh, a lot of them we had to, like, isolate the, the problems, you know, where the frozen pipes were and maybe put a valve in there. And just get them so they could use one bathroom, their kitchen, yeah. some things like that, and then go back this week or as soon right. as we can get back right. and get their whole house back. So it was a major board. problem. Big problem. Hey, big. Reggie, were you open last week? I was open um, all last week, actually. I live in Decatur, and um, a lot of our clients live in close proximity. So I, I use that as a let's get it done if it was safe. And a lot of people felt like, hey, you know what, let's not take a day off. And I'm with that. I mean, they Those are dedicated folks. Half. 
Because I've, I've stopped yeah. them driving for 30, 45 minutes. They have hills come down. Right. And the impatience yeah. drive from all over. So, big mm -hmm. difference. Yeah. So, day and a half. Mm -hmm. It was a statewide emergency because nobody has to make up the time either. Right. The schools don't. So, right. Anyway. All right, got a lot of stuff. We'll play Judge Jamie Lee. Lynn Hart makes her way. In. She's going to be talking great things going on down at uh, Friendship. Friendship United Methods. They got something big going on. John, I hope you know all about it. What? You know all about what's going on, don't you? So we'll check on that, too. So that's what's going on this morning. I got some other stuff we'll talk about in just a little bit. Right now, let's go to a man who's known for eating a bucket mm. at a time of KFC. Coach Legg said that's a lie. He said he knows I can't do it. He said, I can't do it. Really? The, yeah. The gizzard himself. I can eat two. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Jamie, I didn't bring this up this morning. I meant to mention this to you and Glory, but it popped up in my memories this morning. You know what happened four years ago today? Four years ago? What? Four years ago today. We oh. lost one of our buddies. Okay. Uh, oh. Keith? The Swami. The Swami? Swami, Swami passed away today? four years ago today. Uh -huh. Oh, Keith. Man, and, uh, I, I meant to say it. something to you. I didn't know if y'all had something planned. It was, it, was, it was a good funeral. Oh, yeah, man. four years ago today, we lost the Swami. So the re the first sports director of ZTV Love. I miss sports. that grumpy old man. Oh, yeah. My favorite line, Brad, <laughs> I've got land. <laughs> I got land. Let's talk about that senior leadership. <laughs> that senior leadership. <laughs> Senior leadership. Hey, we got a memorial to him over there in the Swamp. Yeah, yeah, he always, always lives. Years, yeah. I don't know if y'all remember oh, him or not. He yeah. at all the ball games. The, the legend. Uh, the legend is right. The legend is right. So I'll try to well, do, well, do him proud. Zach, I knew it was. Yeah. Uh, there it is right there. Yeah. I try to do him proud today with this sports report. Yeah, the 27th. Uh, you know. Ole Miss beat Alabama last night. Alabama just can't win when he gets on the road. Got beat 78 to 66 last night. Colin Sexton come back last night, but he only. Had, it was two for 13 from the field. But they got a big game against Oklahoma at Trey Young, who could probably be the number one pick in the draft. The, he'll be coming to Tuscaloosa on Saturday. Kentucky falls out of the top 25 for the first time since 2014, which I don't mean nothing right now. They'll be there in, in the tournament. There. What about LeBron James? LeBron James became the youngest <laughs> player last night at 33 to get 30,000 points. Kobe Bryant was closest at 34, but now LeBron has smashed that record. So congratulations to the king, LeBron James. And, hey, you don't say this more anymore, but Chipper Jones is getting close to make the, the Hall of Fame. He spent his whole 19-year career with Atlanta Braves. You just don't see that. They only had two. I know it's going to make Braves fans sick, but he's only, they only had two losing seasons when he was there. Really? You know what his, you know what his first name was, Jamie? What is real name? No. Chipper? Larry Wayne. Chipper. They used to call him out in New York, what? and he used to go out there and hit, kill their pitching. They call him Larry at the ball games, and he'd go and his best record against the team was against the Mets because they called him Larry. That's about all I got, Jamie. Back to you. That's it? <laughs> yeah. That's it? I mean, you tell me that's all you got. I know you got, I know you got a lot. Well, no, I ain't got a lot for right He's now. Looking I, was for it. Find a, I was trying to find a segment here I was going to talk about, but... Uh, uh, sometimes what was it, about? it takes me a little while to get out here and find it, but uh, I don't guess I'll be able to find it before I have to go to break. So y'all just bear with me one second. No, not that. Not He's that, so prepared this huh? morning. Well, I am prepared. I just didn't think I would have time to get this in. Now I can't find it. Why is it when you need something, you can't ever find it? Murphy's Law. Yes. It's there. You know, just trying to find something. Reggie? Yes. How are you and Susie doing? <laughs> Susie Wiley, you've been on her show? I have. Been. Yeah. I, I if you live in Decatur, you know Susie. I've been on her show, show, been on been on show the other day. <laughs> and I'm there, and then I see, uh, There's Reggie. I see Reggie on there. Mm -hmm. You know what? Susie's fantastic, man. You know what? She's uh, the spice of life gumbo. She's like Jamie. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she's like Jamie. I can't yeah, think about it. Compared to Susie Wiley, I love Susie. But, See, uh, Jamie and Susie, they make time. interviewing easy because they'll ask you a question and answer it for you, too. That's right. <laughs> you know, all you do is smile pretty That's for the awesome. camera. Smile pretty. Oh, here's what, here's what I was going to do. This is a right. true story. This right here, this story, this is from my buddy Gary Ryan. He and I went to Sneed College. He was a baseball pitcher over there when he was a kid, mm -hmm. a real little kid. Uh, <laughs> this one, this one right here, only in America, this, this one, best lawyer true story last year. It said this actually took place in Charlotte, North Carolina. A lawyer purchased a box of very <coughs> rare and expensive cigars. I don't know if y'all smoke cigars. Anyway, no. I got some reason. No. Insured them against, <laughs> among other things, fire. Now, this is a true story. 
Within a month, having smoked his entire stockpile of these great expensive cigars, the lawyer filed a claim against the insurance company. In his claim, he stated the cigars were lost, quote, in a series of fires. Small fires. Well, the True truth. story. Hmm. The insurance company refused to pay, citing the obvious reason that the man had consumed the cigars in a normal fashion. The lawyer sued and won. Really? Delivering the ruling, the judge agreed with the insurance company that the claim was frivolous. The judge stated, nevertheless, the lawyer held a policy from the company in which, and remember this is a true story, that he, got, that he was warranted that the cigars were insurable and also guaranteed that it would insure them against fire without defining what is considered to be an unacceptable fire and was obligated to pay the claim. That was smart. Come on, man. Rather than endure lengthy and it's about a costly <laughs> appeal, the insurance company accepted the ruling, paid the lawyer $15,000 for the loss wow. of the expensive cigars that perished in the fire. Hmm. Now, the best part. After the lawyer cashed a check, the insurance company had him arrested on 24 counts of arson <laughs> with his own insurance claim and testimony from the previous case being used against him, the lawyer was convicted of intentionally burning his insured property oh, and was sentenced idiot. to 24 months in jail on a $20 wow. dollar fine. Well, that's oh. you believe that? I love that's it. A, I that's love a story it. with yeah. a good ending. I like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> story with a good ending. It said, only in America, but that is a true story. Where's that's David Turner? Right. Turner Saturday, we'll come back and <laughs> Jamie and I rule on who's the smartest in here today. Y'all, hang on. Zach. Oh, man, do I feel like a stud every time I hear it. I'm coming out of the chute. Brought to you by Judge Jamie today. One love here. Matter of fact, Zeke will be with us next week. Got wow. South That's locations right. in the Tennessee Valley. And he'll be up here next week with us. Huh? All right, Keith. Now you played before, Lynn. Good day, yes, 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 yes. yes, You're playing today to win a thing of Vienna sausages. Right. And you hope my home, former hometown. Well, my hometown was named Doc that. Doc needs those today. All right, here we go. <laughs> or you can get fried possums. A couple of Rod over at uh, Madison <laughs> RV. Thanks, Rod. All right, here we go. This is the wrong answer. This is the right answer. I have span, uh, John David, are you going to be able to make it this morning? No. Lynn Hart, <laughs> playing this morning. All right, Decatur Daily front page this morning. They are building a new stadium or, over in Austin and Decatur. Mm -hmm. How many years, or when did they first play in Ogle Stadium? 1932. Hmm. That's the wrong answer. 1890. 1963. Yeah. Aren't they each getting their own well, stadium? Yeah, so, yeah. Correct. What is this? Is the biggest news going right now? It's even on Daily Mail. It's on the front page of AL.com this morning, the Huntsville Times. What is the latest discovery that they just found this week down in Mobile? Uh, oh, the last American dinosaur. slave ship. That is a yeah. right answer, there Keith Jackson. Ooh, coming along. That is a right answer. Uh, what, I, what else do you know about it? Don't know much about it, but it's a, I think it's a reporter who was found. Uh, AL.com reporter, the, mm -hmm. support, the water was down. There it is. Wow. In 1860, it came over here. Slavery had been outlawed, and you couldn't bring them over since the early 1800s. When the water went down, they found that. Wow. They mm -hmm. brought them over here in Mobile in 1860. It's <clears throat> the last known instance of a slave ship landing in the United States. They don't know for sure if that's it. But anyway, in the AL.com in Hustle Times, they've got a picture of the last surviving slave that was on that ship. It was right here in the paper this morning. And he lived to be, he was in the early 1900s. There he is right there. So they're saying that this wow. thing brought over, I think, a wow. hundred and something people on it. Good grief. It's kind of like that movie. Is it Armistead? Is it a movie about slaves? Mm -hmm. but it, it is. But there it is. They found that thing. They think it's it. They're not certain, but they think that is it. That's unbelievable. It is. Unbelievable. It is. Wow. Unbelievable. All right. Only you guys will know this from Decatur. Mm -hmm. Who got the title of Miss Rodeo USA this past Sunday <laughs> at the International Finals Rodeo in Oklahoma City? It's on the tip of their tongue. <laughs> the Limestone County girl finished first runner-up. Uh -huh. Miss I'm a pig. 
Miss Limestone Sheriff, Heather Bundy of Lacey Spring, finished third. That girl right there, Summer Weldon, earned the title of Miss Rodeo USA. She won Morgan County's Rodeo Queen last year. See how up to date Keith I am on everything? Yeah, see That's that. why y'all need. But I'll get to some easy ones in just a moment. Can USA I, Today yesterday had a unique audience. story. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I did. How many days it set a record since 1950? Has it been since there has been a tornado death in the United States? Wow. Oh, Man, that's good. That's a good question. I have it. I know it's a good question, Reggie. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> 76 days. 52. What? Two. You all know the answer. You. 120. 252. 252 <laughs> days is the right answer. <laughs> John David. Wow. John David shot it. Wow. Actually, it's 251 as of today, because that was yesterday. That's a, that's a record. Wow. wow. Now y'all know something. Y'all can go talk to people today. Sorry about that. When you're thawing pipes today. Or yeah. They're all thawed out now. We're just yeah. fixing yeah. the ones that are broken. Right. USA Today this morning. Yeah, what is thawed. expected? Usually gas is lower at this time of year. Yes. Usually. Well, now it's on a rise. It has risen how much nationwide in the last week? Ten cents. Ten cents is the right answer. What is it projected to be at in the next couple of weeks? Two dollars and sixty cents. How much? Two dollars. No, three dollars a gallon. What? No, no, no way. No. In a month, it said that's got that new value. Three dollars a gallon. Really? If you can own a Hummer, that is great, great news. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> great, great news. <laughs> right. All right. Why is oh. Kimberly Clark, who makes Kleenex and Huggies, laying off? 5,500 workers nationwide. Oh. I don't know. Why? Hmm? Why are they laying them off? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fired them. Because, according to the paper, Americans are having fewer babies and diaper makers are feeling the pinch. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> What's that? You've been to Walmart lately. <laughs> I, I, that's right, bro. All right, USA Today this morning. All you history buffs and you people playing worldwide live mm. this morning on Facebook. What happened in California 170 years ago today? It's like not, we're going to know this. Earthquake? Gold was, Rush. Oh, yeah. California Gold oh, Rush. Oh, yes. Yes. Accidental yeah. discovery of the precious metal. Mm. At a construction of John Souter's sawmill. Mr. Souter's <laughs> sawmill? Right. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, oh man, Mr. Oh, man, Mr. There it is. Oh, man. Yeah. There it is right there. All right. Levi's, too. That's right. <laughs> what happened in Leeton, Alabama yesterday? Leeton, Alabama. You made a guest appearance. <laughs> Police officer came up on two guys arguing at a truck stop. Yeah. One of them tried to drive off in his pickup truck. Of course. Drugs. Find a big. Bag, bags of drugs. No. 40 year old man from Oregon. I guess he thought it was still legal. Ooh. Found with 27 pounds of pot. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, if I got 27 pounds 27. of pot in the back of my truck, I don't want to get into an argument in Leeton, Alabama with somebody else. <laughs> and he's Maybe. from Oregon, God, Jamie. Yeah, really. He probably brought it down to Morgan where it's legal. Uh huh. So, well, idiots. You know. Well, usually they have an expired idiots. tag or a you know, light out. God bless them. They're not very yeah. smart. Christopher Pl Plummer. <laughs> Just became what with the Oscars yesterday? He's kicked out. Oldest man Oldest. ever to be nominated oh. at 88. He took over for Kevin Spacek, who was taken out because of all the sexual harassment. Yeah, that got to be quick. Wow. What, did they, what, did, what did the Hawaiian governor admit to? He, they didn't know his Twitter and the cattle. When they did that false alarm, that the incoming ballistic missile is coming in to blow you all up, you got several minutes. He, sa he said, I couldn't send out a Twitter message because I forgot what my his username. username password. Oh. So wow. it took him 15 minutes to figure that out. Zach, you were on a roll this morning, aren't you? Yeah. saw that on news this morning. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> good issue. I was listening. Yeah. Huh? You're doing a good job. Zeke, Zeke will be proud I can hear. Right now, this time of year, Lynn, you may know all about this. You're a world traveler. You may know all about this. Right now, in Saudi Arabia, they're having the annual Abal King Abdul Azazel Camel Festival. <laughs> Say that again. With 300,000 spectators. Uh, yes. 12 camels were disqualified. 
Yes. Botox. Yes, Botox. Botox is the right answer. Well, what? camels were... Kicked right, out. Were kicked, because it's a beauty contest yes. for camels. Oh, oh yes. Yes. What is wrong with Botox on camels? That is ridiculous. And they cheated. There's $57 yes. million dollars in prize money. Right. It's, it's a, a big deal. deal. Camel? <laughs> it's the biggest camel event in the world. When they start raising camels, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? I may yes. have heard it all. Jamie, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's great. <laughs> Botox. Botox. Y'all didn't know that? That's ridiculous. Botox. A couple yeah. of years ago in North Carolina, they had a donut eating uh, contest, and a guy won it. Well, the police became a little suspicious of it. This guy right here. And they tracked his record down, and he had been caught for several burglaries. That's a couple of years ago. Well, the guy in that photo just got arrested again. What did he get arrested for? Mm. Stealing donuts. Stealing donuts. <laughs> Stealing donuts is the right answer. What? It's a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, my goodness. There are better things to steal. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> well, y'all come on today. But here's the last way. Yeah, yeah, you didn't give it away. But he won a donut eating contest, and, and he got the guy with 27 pounds of pot later. I'm like John David. There are better things. Yeah, there are a whole lot better things to steal than donuts. <laughs> yeah, what do you he brings it to a donut shop to steal some. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Don't the guy that's steal. got 27 pounds of pot. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, don't take your mess this long to catch on to it. I'm not advocating that. I'm just... <laughs> Because yesterday we did a thing on the newest church in San Jose, California. It's a was that church. not ridiculous? Mm. That was crazy. Yeah. Mm. He knew it. That? I'm sure he, he I didn't. Here. He wasn't here yet. He was I wasn't here sick. yesterday. <laughs> he was he donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Jerry Maron? M-A-R-E-N. Today is his 99th birthday. Well. He's an actor. What was his famous movie? Oh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Is that what you're Cheech and John. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's Cheech and John. Cheech and John. Because Marin was one of the Is that the Wizard of Oz? The Wizard, Wizard of Oz. That's what I say. I say. He's the last. He's the last. He's the last. He's singing. Who's singing it? The, the lollipop. It was, it was Zach. No, it was John David. How's it go, Zach? I was John David. He was in the lollipop kill. Yeah. That's, That's right. That answer. But here is the here's the real question. Winner of take course. off of this last question. He was a munchkin. He's the last surviving munchkin. The 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz. Mm. Here's the question. How many munchkins were in the original <laughs> film? 150. 250. 65. We're all over the board today. <laughs> 500. 500. <laughs> Huh? 500. Uh, I'd say 150. 10. I mean, you say? 150. I'll let you have 120. Give me my sausage. 800. <laughs> There's a lot of us short people around. Right? <laughs> Give me my sausage. 124 munchkins were Woo! in the original. Oh. See, you can come out and talk about this. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. 99 years old today, the last surviving munchkin. Oh, I wouldn't suggest that. Zach? Yeah. Reagan, you can apply for a part in that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a new revival of the He's movie. He's too tall. For it. Tell him Me. you're too tall, Zach. 5'1". Five, mm -hmm. Yeah. 5'1". I don't know what the official size of the munchkin was. <laughs> I claim to be 5'1". Huh? Huh? Can you say munchkin in 2018? You can't say anything. <laughs> I don't think you can. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, when's the last time you heard somebody call somebody a munchkin? <laughs> oh. I, I I'm call, I've been calling out quite a bit. I do, I do not recall. <laughs> Zach, is that sexual harassment? I could. I could. That's uh, <laughs> mental and physical harassment. <laughs> bullying. Bullying. That's bullying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Brad. Don't start calling me that now. I take a break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah.
And welcome back on this cold morning. Bundle up on your way out the door this morning. 28 degrees. We're going to see temperatures rise, though. Full sunshine today. Temperatures around 50, 51 degrees. So that'll feel quite nice. And you won't need those jackets this morning. That's for sure. 50 will feel like a heat wave. Tomorrow, your high temperature of 54, low of 31. No rain until Saturday. Maybe possibly carried on into Sunday. And the extended week, just temperatures sticking around those 50s. Not bad at all. And next week, look at Monday and Tuesday, sticking around 50s. We'll take it for January. Not too bad at all. What do you think, Doc? I think I'll take it too. <laughs> I know. Better than nine. Oh my goodness! I think that pie. was, you know, and it was so funny because after that nine degree weather, and it wound up being about. 25, 30 degrees. It actually warmer, felt it? a lot warmer. Really it wasn't did. bad at all. But how's things up your way, indicator? It's good. Yeah, good. we let it thaw out because we didn't yes. want to put people at risk trying to drive in on the ice, and that's just not a good combination. So. Everyone's like, you guys drive a Hummer. Yeah, but we don't want to have to go pick up everyone for right. get them here safely. So, you know, and that, that's always good that uh, when you own a business, you're able to do that, and you have to be considerate. And you don't want patients coming in either. Right. Well, I've got yeah, staff good. that have to drive down yeah. big mountains and stuff, and I want them to be home safely with their family. Mm -hmm. So it's just a smart thing to do. Yeah, kids are out of school. Yeah. But one thing everybody needs to do that we don't talk a lot about is protect our eyes. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I mean, we only have two eyes, and it should be one of the most important things people want to take care of. It's just one of those things, like everything else, we take, take for, granted for granted until something happens. Sense. And so, um, and, and that's where we kind of specialize is trying to look for things ahead of time and just be okay. proactive, mm -hmm. um, whether it's just making sure you have the right eye protection when you're using your computer versus your activities versus uh, protecting your eyes against certain diseases. What exactly can you find out when you talk about certain diseases just by looking into our eyes? High blood pressure, diabetes mm -hmm. uh, are the two big ones. Um, anything systemic, we can have issues there. We've actually, um, based on the patient's complaint, oh. come in. We've actually determined that they probably have a brain tumor or something wow. going on, and so that's a life-saving diagnosis. You didn't even know high point. blood pressure. You can tell. Mm -hmm. We can. What does diabetes look like? Um, in the back of the eye, there's just a lot of little bleeding spots back okay. there, and so um, we don't see it as much as we used to because mm -hmm. most people are getting care. But um, early in my career, we did. I was okay. the first to diagnose it in a lot of patients because they didn't know wow. their symptoms were due to elevated blood sugar. And so they would come in and their vision wasn't as good. And I would look back there and I would see the signs of the diabetes. It's kind of hard to tell someone, isn't it? It is. It's a, and they're, they don't realize it because they don't put it together. But right. once they go to their doctor and they get confirmation, then they're very grateful that we found yes, it. Yes, that would be a big, big help. Right. All right, we talked about children getting eye exams. Mm -hmm. And nobody ever thinks to take a three or four year old to get an eye exam. They don't. Um, and we had a little boy um, came in last year. He was four years old, had been to a doctor in Atlanta. And for whatever reason, they did not detect that he had been born with a cataract in one eye. They just thought he had a lazy oh. eye, so they were trying to do us therapy. So we, I saw him yesterday. He come in and he had his cataract off, and right. so now his vision is starting to improve. And so we just got to get him in some therapy and, and get him to see him better. So that's awesome. All right, let's talk about dry eye because yeah. I know everybody says, "Oh, I just have allergies. My eyes are scratchy. They itch. They burn." You know. Right. It's the allergies. Right. It's the pollen. It's the pollen. Yeah, where's the <laughs> pollen right now at 90 degrees, right? Well, they, uh, you know, yeah, I asked the question. They said, well, it's probably just my allergies. I said, well, are your eyes itching? And they go, no, they're not itching. I said, well, it can't be allergies because the number one symptom of allergy is itching. Itchy eyes. You're gonna itchy eyes. So uh, sometimes if you do have dry eye, it will make you more susceptible to develop allergies, but it may not be the root cause. Okay. And so, it, um, and as we talked about before, the, the a lot of the over-counter drops are not necessarily suited to treat that. It's okay. just going to be got kind of like a band-aid, and you really need to use the right drops. And it's important to get a yes. good diagnosis, and then we can get you on a treatment plan to help with that. Nothing would be worse than going going to the store, picking out those eye drops, and then you, there you are. You've used them every day, and, and then you go cheap. back to the no, they're not. And you yeah. go back to the eye doctor, and they're like. Most didn't do yeah, a bit of good. Are, mm -hmm. And they know that. They figured out before they come in here. And uh -huh. so they use all these drops and say, well, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to have to live with it. But there are things that we can do to help that. And you're not talking about just the eye drops to just add tears. Right. Yeah, there's it, different kind of drops out there. Right. And there's uh, most people do have a lipid deficiency. We don't mm -hmm. produce enough oils. And so there are certain drops that will help. Okay. But there are certain treatments that we can do to actually treat, diagnose good. and treat that. Um, we can actually show them what their oil glands look like. We can show how they're working. 
A lot of people are partial blinkers because mm -hmm. of all the computer use. Um, so that definitely I always want to blink when you say that. I know. <laughs> I know. Everybody starts blinking because uh, that's not something we normally think about. Right. So people are shocked when we show them their video and they go, hey, my eyes aren't closing. I go, I know. That's why you're having oh. your problems. So people need to, if you're working at a computer, you always say 20 on, 20 off? Or well, iPad I don't, I don't if you can? Do, well, iPad if you can, but you can't really do that for work because right. you get fired. Um, <laughs> but at least... But Tom yeah, told me to do it. <laughs> but two to three minutes, if okay. you can, just to kind of take a break, look at a distance, you know, close your eyes, squeeze them together, open, repeat that a few times. About every 30 minutes to an hour or so, try to at least get a little okay. bit of a break in. I want to talk about now what I would think if I had to wear glasses, my favorite thing. You can make some people not have to ever wear glasses again. Right. That's really cool. That um, is. The General Molding or Paragon CRT, it's ortho K if people okay. want to look it up online. Um, but it fit them with lenses that reshapes their eyes so they don't have to wear glasses or contacts during the daytime. Nice. So, and you know it works for a fact. You did it on yourself. I've been doing it on myself for almost four years now. All right. My son did it for 11, 12, so he's been doing it as well, too. Great. So some people have worn glasses their whole lives. Mm -hmm. They just come in to see if they're a candidate. Right. And some people want, you know, sur they think they want surgery, but they don't want surgery because who right. wants their who eyes cut on? And so this is a reversible way to correct your vision so that you don't okay. have to be dependent on glasses or contacts. You're not talking about time. LASIK, anything no. like that. You're actually sleeping with a contact mm -hmm. in your eyes. Right. So you only wear it contact, seven, so seven to eight hours at night. So okay. while you're sleeping, you sleep fine. You know, a couple of days to get used to the lens in there, but most people don't have any issues with it. And once you get used to it, um, you'd, you'd be great. And actually affordable. Yes, it you is. You have to buy glasses every year or yeah. change your prescription. I mean, right. that adds up over it does. the years. It so. really does. Good. All right. Where are you located? In Decatur, Alabama, <laughs> about 15 minutes down 31. That's, That's right. You can't miss them. Look for That's those right. crepe myrtles and that big blue sign. That's 823 right. 6th Avenue. Personally guaranteed that you're going to have a great time when you walk in there, too. Right. And the staff is wonderful. Mary and Beth are uh, all super when you yeah, walk I in. I told Miss Betty Roberts hello this morning. I told her I would. She, had, she told me to say something to her. So. Good morning. I didn't morning, bring my Vonda sausage this morning. But, uh, <laughs> but we're, sending, we're sending some home with your name oh, on it right. just for you, Miss Betty. Give me an autograph. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, if you have any questions, I personally, you can give me a call, ask me about it too. I'll be happy to share our experience when we went down to Innovative Eye Care, and it was wonderful. Call and make those appointments, especially if you have not had your exam once a year. That's all you have to do once a year to get those eyes and keep them good. They're the only eyes you have. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you, Dr. Ty Violet. All right, uh, Jackson, we're going to talk to Jackson uh, Heating and Cooling at Plumbing and Reggie Jackson. We got so many Jacksons in here this morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Better if I put my mic on, so I'd be laying <laughs> over here like that. It right. would. Busy talking to Keith in the break. Keith Jackson, my old buddy. You did a couple shows with us when you used to be a franchise. Yes, we were part of Business with oh, Franklin Plumbing, a franchise sure. for about ten years. We sure right. were. We were but just talking about it. I you a couple of months ago. You were a big guy. Uh, you, you're out of Decatur. That's correct. Or Hartzell, rather. Yes. Hartzell, you're doing plumbing, heating, and cooling. That's correct. But let's get the first things first. Both people know you from your commercial. That's correct. Here's that. Now we'll roll a little bit as we talk here. Who came up with this idea, and did, you had to approve this to do this? Yes, and, and Jamie, I actually came up with this idea. Okay, it's just great. one of my, my things. I just thought about it, and I thought we want to project ourselves professionally, but we also want to project ourselves as having fun. And these are our employees, <laughs> and, and they just have so much fun doing this. It's just been incredible. Well, it's a very memorable spot. The guy out front. Yes. Is a chaplain for your... Well, he's not really, not we don't really give him a, a chaplain, title, but, but, but Keith, uh, he retired from General Motors. He worked there 34 years, and, and he's a, one of my best friends. And he came to work, and he's a really strong Christian, very strong in his beliefs and in his faith. And so once he came into our shop, all the younger guys began to navigate to him when they had issues of any kind. And Keith is just a great ambassador for Christ. Yeah, I know awesome. talking to you that day, a couple of months before he won the national championship, uh, you were... You're all big on motivation. Yes. And how does that work for Jackson? Plumbing, okay. Eating and cooling? Here's, 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 here's our deal. I, this is my 31st year in business. Now, about 10 of those, I worked two jobs and did this kind of on the sideline, well, moonlighting. Dad, right. My, my mm -hmm. dad helped me. Uh, but in 1995, I went full time in, in the business. And uh, all those years, I kept thinking, I can't find anybody. There's no one out there that wants to work. Well, in 2015, I started investing in myself and doing a lot of self improvement and working on leadership. And so what I did, I started creating a culture, a system, where is that I could take someone into my shop, and not only would I teach them a trade and an apprenticeship program, but I would teach them, we, we do things like family household budgets. 
We do a lot of stuff. We talk about what is really important in life. And first and foremost is, is your relationship with Christ or your relationship with God. Right. And, and second is your family. You know, and the third thing we say is time. Because the most valuable thing that you have that you can't get back is your time. And we work with, with young men mostly and women that come into our shop. And we try to get them in an in a, in a environment so they see the purpose of what we do. And when they see that purpose and they see that we are really trying to help them be successful and they see there's uh, other people who are just two or three years ahead of them are being very, very successful in our shop, it motivates them to come in there every day eager to learn and to, to be a part of it. And it's, uh, it's been such a, it's been life changing for me. Now you just wow. told us in the break here that the average plumber or person that does something like that is 58 years That's old. That's correct. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It and so in the next eight to 10 years, there's 400,000 men and women who's gonna retire out of the trades. Are and you, no one is coming into the trades. Are you looking, looking for, for people. people to work? We are always looking for high character people. Uh, it usually, we, we do, people come in that sometimes have worked for other companies and it works, but it's a lot easier for us to take someone who's never been in the trades, never worked for another company, and bring them in and get them in our apprenticeship program, our HVAC training school, and, and work with them and, and then teach them the way that we do business. And most of what we do is about self-improvement and helping people to be really good, successful people. You get a lot of repeat business? Oh, it's incredible. Dr. We've got Tyler folks that we've been working for. Dr. Tyler, <laughs> yes. Uh, we, we've been friends. We, we played baseball together in Hartsell. Hartsell. Yes, uh, all, all the way from the time we were seven, eight years old. But yes, uh, uh, Dr. Tyler Miller actually and his, his uh, Last home he lived in before this house, we put a Renai tankless water heater in. As soon as he purchased his new home, the one he's in now, he calls and wants us to put a Renai tankless water heater in there. He's just a, he's a great client. But we have numbers, a uh, huge amount of people that call us every time, and we are so thankful so for those So you do heating and cooling nowadays, Yes, too. we do. That's correct. And how's that going? Going in incredible. Uh, this cold weather, we had a lot of folks with no heat, yeah. and uh, yeah. we're very fortunate. Uh, with our heating and cooling, we were able to bring in some people that were very experienced and, uh, and come in because uh, I, my, my background trade is plumbing, and uh, Kevin Lawson is, is, our, is our certified heating and cooling guy, and he's did a fantastic job for what us. What a great opportunity to work for your company and bring in, I mean, for all these young people, too. We, we have a young man that came to us. He played baseball at Hartsville, went to school for a year. College is great. All three of my daughters went to college. Uh, that's a great thing, but it's just not for everybody. Right. And, uh, and so uh, this young man came to work. He, he went to college for a year, and uh, uh, mutual friends, and I got him, and, and you know, his name is Griffin. I'll just tell you about Griffin. And uh, he came to me. He, he didn't know what a crescent wrench was, really. Channel locks. Now, three years later, journeyman plumber, journeyman gas fitter, and runs his own truck every day, does a fantastic job. And they make good and money I, doing I'm that, I'm watching too. him grow up, too. You know now, what I'm saying? Now, if there's some parents out there watching right now, they just light bulb went off it, for my little I do boys. have people, yes. Anything, I have folks, you know, you know come yeah. up to me and say, you know, you know, my grandson, he's kind of floundering around right now. I need him to come see you. Hey, I can't take them all, but, but the ones that I see, you know, that spark Potential. in, those are the ones yeah. I want. And if you're on your way to Eddie Pruitt 4 or Hannah Landscaping yes. up on Highway 31, you go right by his place. Is that Flint City? It, it, well, it yeah, used to be Flint City. City. It got, it got uh, <laughs> what do you call that when you... Speed when you trout. Yeah, well, but Decatur annexed it yeah, many years ago. But growing up, it was Flint City. Well, yeah. it's good to see you again. Thanks for being part of the program. And Cozy, to tell your wife, mm. we're still running... Uh, Little, Little House on the Prayer. A couple oh, times a day. She watches it every day. There's Boxer running a lot <laughs> yes. in there. And if y'all have watched Cozy lately, we got the nanny running now. It is funny, funny, funny. <laughs> Along with Frazier and Will and Grace and all that stuff, and then us again. Keith, thanks for being part of us. Glad your business is going well. And I know y'all are just uh, full of everything over there. That's Thank great. you. This is incredible. Work. We're yeah. having a great time. Doing it. All right, and roll tide. <laughs> right. yeah. Coming up next, we'll talk to Lynn and Reggie. They're Lynn's starting a new workout program, but we're going to talk first about uh, <laughs> Friendship Methodist. Y'all, hang on. I hate to interrupt the program again, but Keith was walking out to get back to work, but we forgot something very important. Oh, yes, this morning, Jamie. Yesterday afternoon, I ate supper with my mom, and I told her, turn your TV on in the morning. I'm going to say hi to you. My mom, Wilda Jackson, right there on Marshall Street, where I grew up in Hartsell, Alabama. Good morning, Mom. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching Cozy TV and Cooper & Company. See you, Keith.
All right. All right. All right. Back to y'all. Uh, thank you. That was worth interrupting the program <laughs> for. Lynn, Lynn Hart with me this morning. Usually we're talking about uh, wacky, uh, quacky, ducky derby or keep Athens limestone beautiful. But today we're actually talking about how we do need to keep limestone county beautiful. A prayer request. Reggie Jackson joining us as well. Let's talk about Friendship um, Church, something that they're doing, something very important to Yes. Uh, Friendship Church is embarking on a pray 40 days journey. I I've changed okay. my hat today. Yes, today we're have. talking friendship. You are a member of friendship. Um, and, and part of this, oh, the main purpose of this is for all of us to learn how to pray okay. in a more meaningful way. Uh, to pray for breakthroughs and uh, we're going to have small groups which the community is invited to join us if they would okay. like to. Um, but as part of this Pray 40 Days, we have chosen two community projects that we need the community's help to make successful. Okay. We are praying that um, hearts will be open mm -hmm. to join us in this. And the first um, project that we're doing is to provide care bags to all needy children in every school in all of Limestone County. Now and when I did the five thousand, when students. I did the research. I was shocked to learn that there are ne almost 6,000 children in Limestone County living below poverty levels. That's a lot. So that it is, is a, a lot. That is a tremendous amount. And these care bags will include such things as um, shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste and toothbrushes, deodorant, and things that maybe some of them don't have at home or don't have access to Socks, all the time. Underwear, toothbrush, toothpaste, hand sanitizer. Now, this sanitizer. is a one-time deal? This is a one-time one deal at this, okay. at this point. Um, so we need the community's help to collect these items so that we can put these care bags together. And I know that Lindsay Lane and Friendship Church does the food. Right. Um, but this is something to help raise the children's self-esteem. If they can come to school clean and, and um, have the appropriate care, then they can be more successful. So the second project is to build three raised garden beds at Spark Academy at Cowart Elementary. Okay. And the purpose of this is to teach the children to plant the seeds in the classroom, nurture them, transplant them to the garden beds, mm -hmm. raise those plants, harvest the vegetables, and then uh, Jennifer Kennedy, who is the director of Spark, wants to bring in a chef. That sounds like a lot of work. But it is a successful program in other areas. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. And, and it teaches the children and so it, much. And, and it's going to involve the families as well. And so you are teaching, you know, it's the same thing. We all grew Survival. up with gardens in my time. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. Right, right. Teach a man to fish, yeah. you know, give him a fish or yeah. teach a man to fish. Well, we're okay. teaching them to raise their own food. And this is something that the children will maintain for a lifetime. It is. And how important is it for us to start eating better? You know, Reggie, we talk you about that all the Reggie time. Reggie got that kind of right now. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of uh, Reggie, they're all built up. Last Monday was, uh, or Tuesday was January 15th. I think it was Monday. January 15th oh. has been <laughs> the most depressing day of the year. Right. Blue Monday is what it was called. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because, because people have already given up on their New Year's resolutions. <clears throat> you know what, Jamie? The truth is, New Year's resolutions, you should not wait to a day to change your life. But if that's what it takes for you to get right, then do that. Everyone is going to eventually run to a brick wall. Here's the thing. If you're trying, don't give up. Keep going. It happens. Just because you're not making progress as fast as you think you need to or you like, doesn't mean you're not making progress. Baby steps count. Keep it moving. Let's go. You can do this. 2018. Let's go. I want to remind everybody before Amazing we go back story. to Lynn talk about some things. Killer Bees will be with us tomorrow. Yes. The world-renowned uh, comedian will be up. He's doing <laughs> three that. shows in Hustle this week, and he'll be back with us tomorrow. So that all, and we have entertainment. That's always fun. Yes, Casey's supposed to be with us tomorrow. But you know, there is a website for uh, this event too. 40, uh, 40 days. Dot, 40. I'm sorry. It's pray 40. Pray 40. The number 40. There it is, right there. Pray40days.org. 
Yes. And you can find out more information about that too. Now you're actually looking for businesses to be a drop off place. So can people contact you through that website? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> if you go to the website and you're interested in the projects, now there's information on that website about getting involved in okay. the program if anybody would like to do that. But there's also a section specifically for the projects okay. and there is an email address connected Good. that you can contact me um, if you are interested as a business to collect items uh, with your employees mm -hmm. or if you would like to be a drop-off uh, place for, so that people Others. can purchase their items wherever they'd like and then drop them there. That okay. would be wonderful. So what else y'all got going mm -hmm. on down at Friendship? Oh, we've got tons <laughs> of things going on at Friendship. Um, gosh, you've just caught me off guard. But, <laughs> it's all uh, on that th website. Really, it, really, go to our website. Yes, absolutely. Friendshipumc.org and learn about all of the groups you can get involved with. The small groups are so important. Oh, my goodness. Um, Lindsay Lane, we we're involved in that at Lindsay Lane. And you do not, I don't know how people get through just daily life without having a small group or a connection group. I agree I mean, with you. Because life happens and you need folks. I agree with you entirely. Uh, when my husband died, I don't know where I would have example. been yes. without my church family and my mm -hmm. small group. Well, people that people don't, aren't involved, like Gloria just said, just do don't. not know Understand. what they're missing out on. Yes. They don't have a clue, bless their hearts. Speaking of that, Dusty will be yeah. back up here with us tomorrow. Let me talk about the men's group coming up over at First Baptist All Church. All you men can get together. You need to go to this with me, Reggie. February 9th, a Friday night. This will be the fifth or sixth one I've been to. Uh, Dusty will be there. Tim will be there from Clements. And Joel will be hosting over at First Baptist. Joel Car Carlisle. Uh, I think we served dinner at 5 that night. You can get tickets at all three churches and online. It is. I highly recommend you go to this. It is one of the most phenomenal things. It lasts about three or four hours. One of the most phenomenal things you will ever take. It's all guys, and they tell them whatever. But they do a good job preaching, no and you take a, such a meaning away from that. So, mm -hmm. Or you can look like Reggie and work out all the time. Either or. You know what? Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for what you do for the community. Look, you can't help everyone. That's the truth. But everyone can help somebody. And yeah. these guys up here, man, they're making a difference yeah. in their community one life at a time, being a positive influence and affecting young lives um, and, and people that are, that are disenfranchised that need help. They're not waiting for people to take the initiative. They're being a part of the a part of the solution in the community. And I just want to say thank you guys. It's appreciated and needed. Our new PR well, man, man, Reggie Jackson, <laughs> in here this morning. Thank so you. Anyway, I thank y'all. All right, Lynn, good to see you. Anything else we need to know about? Uh, anything going on? Go to the Just website. please go to the website, pray40days.org, and check it out. There's lots of information, and we do ask that people get involved in these projects. Whichever one floats your boat, just jo jump do on the website. you know a guy named John David? I was just going to mention him. He <laughs> said this morning. He said this morning that typically people only pray five minutes per day. Five minutes. That is astonishing to me. Well, that's more than I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's more than I thought too. Yeah. I, you know, I, I am learning as I go through this that, and, and we haven't even started our program yet. Um, it's actually starting February 4th, so people have a chance, have time to get involved. But I need this just as much as everybody. Oh, everybody well, needs Good to this. see you again, Lynn. Yeah. Tell everybody, see you, Steve yeah. and everybody out there. Tony, we said hello. Rich, we'll see you back tomorrow. Hopefully I appreciate you. Meet Killer B. It'll be quite an entertaining program tomorrow. No doubt. With that in mind, we'll take a break. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.